I'm going to show you how to transfer data from an SPSS output file to a Microsoft Word document. So let's pretend I ran a bunch of tests here and I came up with my output file here. So it's got a lot of stuff on there. What I really did was I ran a quick ANOVA to see if there was a significant difference between the average test scores between the teachers, the midterm scores. And according to the data, there was no significant difference. But that's a different lesson. So watch. We're going to transfer. We're going to export. Go to File. Export. This asks you where you want it. I'm going to put it in my folder. And I'm going to name it Transfer. Practice. B R A C T I C E. Did I spell it right? Uh, no, I never do. So let's put an F in there. Transfer. Practice. Click Save. And you click OK. It's going to save it there. But you need to open it up. Transfer practice. There you are right there. You get a lot of stuff on there that you really don't need. I always delete the first couple of lines there. And this one as well. And this first big box is strictly information that SPSS tells you where the file is, etc., etc. You really don't need that. So you left click on the square so the whole thing's highlighted. Right click and I just go cut. It gets rid of them. I do leave this file right here because it tells me what the what the data file was named so just in case I forget but it's got all your charts and graphs on it uh, there should be one that goes if it goes off the side here if 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 the chart is too big for the paper what you do is you click right click go to auto fit to window and it will squish it all so it fits it within one page there let's go ahead and save this Now, this is not what we think it is. It's not really a doc file. It's more like a RTF. So you go to Save As and see this format? It's still in rich text format. So for you old timers, you might recognize that. That is what we used to call the docs, D-O-X, or D-O-C. So all you got to do is change it to a more current format. Click Save. Now this is a docx document, and this is what you can send to people that do not have SPSS on their on their computers. That's it, MGZ.